Students, today I'm going to show you the different ways to submit different types of assignments. I am in a calendar and I have three assignments that are due on this date. So I'm going to show you there are all different types of assignments that require different types of submissions and we will walk through how to submit each different type. Remember, you can get to your assignments through your calendar or through your specific course in the assignment tab. Let's just, just access it this way. So I'm going to click on the science water cycle assignment, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that assignment. It says list the four steps of the water cycle and what happens in those steps. And the submitting type is a text entry box <coughs> or a file upload. So let's go ahead and go to submit. Now our options are file upload, text entry, or Google Doc. So the easiest and fastest thing to do is probably just to do a text entry if it's an option. The problem with this is that you have to finish it in that session. It will not save and you'll be able to submit it later. So if it's something quick that you can just write, this is the best option to use. If not, the best thing to do is to go to your Google Drive, create a new document, and create this document in your uh, year folder and the course folder and any of the subcontent folder that your teacher tells you to create that document in. Title this document um, your name and the title of the assignment. Now you would go ahead and finish this assignment. You'd write out all of the uh, steps and everything to the water cycle and what happens in each one of those steps. Then it would come time to turn this assignment in. So you're done with the assignment. Now you would be ready to turn it in. You would go back to this. You would not do file upload. You would do Google Doc. So under Google Doc, you would have to authorize uh, your Google Drive access. Um, you probably have already done this. So I'm just going to go ahead and allow Canvas to use my Google Drive. And then once this is done, you'll have an option to choose from a list of assignments that are in your Google Drive. And now you'll see we have our assignment that we created on our own sheet of paper that shows up under Google Doc. You would just highlight that assignment and you would hit submit. That is one way to submit that assignment. If you do not want to do text entry, you could do it on your own sheet of paper in your drive, submit it through Google Doc, find the assignment, and hit submit. All right, let's jump back to our calendar and let's look at a different type of assignment. Right here we have English Romeo and Juliet poster. Uh, let's click on that. And it says create a poster that depicts the relationship of Romeo and Juliet. Now, um, the, the instructions say go to Glockster and create an account, um, and then your teacher might give you more instructions here or as a class. So let's click on here. The submission type says a website URL. That's why I'm showing you this. It's a little bit different, and it's going to take us here. Now, you're going to have to go ahead. If your teachers were actually doing this, you'd, you'd go to the main dashboard. You'd create an account. Uh, they'd walk you through how to create one of these. But Glockster is basically just a... Um, uh, digital poster that you can create on content that your teacher assigns to you. So this is something that I created. So it's all done. Um, now, if your teacher wanted you to submit this to them, all you would do is you'd get this URL at the top, which would allow them access uh, to be able to see this. So you would just highlight this. You'd right click and say copy. You go back here. You go to submit assignment. And look, the only option for submitting an assignment is website URL. So I right click and I paste once I finish the poster that depicts the relationship of Romeo and Juliet. This is what it would see and I hit submit. My teacher would see that URL, click on it and then be taken to my poster to see my assignment. Alright, that's pretty simple. That could be used too for like a Prezi um, because Prezi's are shared through URL. Maybe if you made a YouTube video um, and that was your assignment, you could submit it through URL. The next one that we're going to look at is this uh, Spanish assignment. So in the Spanish assignment, it says use the record button to read the sentence below in Spanish. It says the sky is blue and the grass is green. Now this is something new that I'm just kind of throwing in here uh, for you to see if you see one of these from your teachers. This is a grading rubric. The great thing about this is as a student, you know exactly what you're being graded for. So on this, you're being graded for fluency and pronunciation. Now it has the, um, you know, what you're being graded on right here and these are the points that are available. So this is what your teacher is actually going to use to grade your media recording. You can see it says submitting type is media recording. I'm going to go here and I'm going to click submit assignment. 
Now it says, I still have my instructions for my assignment up here. I'm gonna click on record upload media. Um, now you will have to allow your microphone on your Chromebook and your webcam. Now the first option that's gonna show up is webcam. Uh, you can just click audio if you just want um, audio. So you hit record, you would then read the sky is blue and the grass is green in Spanish. And then you would just hit save and then you would submit your assignment. And it's as easy as that. Let's look at a different type of submission. And this is the last one. Uh, this is uh, this is probably one of those that you get most often in your classes right now, which is uh, the assignment just says click here for assignment and it says a file upload. So let's go ahead and click here for the assignment. As you can see, it's opening a Google Doc and it says view only because my teacher created this and if it wasn't view only, I could type all over it and mess it up for everybody. So this is the procedure that your teachers probably walked you through. You now have to go to make your own copy of this so you can write on it. So we go to file, we go to make a copy. They probably trained you to put your name first. And now we have our name, worksheet, and plant biology. And now I can go ahead and go in here and answer the questions. And once I finish this entire assignment, I'd be ready to submit it. One step beyond even doing that, we want you to as well, see we now have in our drive the, the worksheet of that plant biology here. Now you guys should have that year folder with the content folders that we talked about in the previous tutorial and you would make sure that you drug this over and dropped it into the correct folder. But once that assignment's done, when it comes to submitting it in Canvas, you would just go back to Canvas, you finish that assignment, you go to submit assignment, our options are file upload or Google Doc. Remember, we're always going to use this Google Doc if it's created in Google Doc. And now we have all these options here from all those um, assignments. Um, and we would click the one that says our name and um, the assignment. Okay, that's why we always put our name because that other one could show up. So let's always put our name at it so you know which one you're actually submitting. You'd highlight that one and you would click on submit assignment. Once you did that, that assignment would go over to that teacher and you would be done. The last thing I want to show you guys is just when you view Canvas and how that experience is. As you probably noticed, your, your calendar is pretty full and it might be confusing to see what you need to do. Um, just know this as well, that you have your dashboard. Your dashboard will have a full to-do list on the right side that tells you exactly what needs to be done in a timely order. So the, most, the thing that needs to be done the next will be at the very top. You can also see anything that needs to be done inside a specific course by clicking on assignments, discussions, or anything that's over here. As well, these little tiles at this main page, if these are underlined or highlighted, that just means there's new content in those uh, courses. I hope this helps. Have a great day.